So we got a call coming in, so let's go ahead and let's just try this out. Hello? Hi. Oh, hi, Jennifer. Um, so how do you hear me? Uh, do you hear me okay on the new uh, Apple Watch Series 3? Uh, yeah, you sound fine, just like a regular phone. Okay, and I can hear you loud and clear. Normal Okay, so we're on cellular mode here, and um, everything sounds good, just like a regular phone. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Okay. So far, so far so good. Okay, excellent. All right, well, thank you very much for the call, and I'll talk to you later. All right, bye-bye. How you doing, guys? It's Mark from Cars and Cameras, and today we have a quick look, a uh, brief look at the Apple Watch Series 3. Uh, I just got this in, and uh, it comes in this lovely box, and this is the uh, cellular model, and um, so we're going to go ahead and take a quick look at it right now. So let's go ahead and unbox it. Okay, and here it is. The Apple Watch Series 3. Wow, with this uh, this new uh, kind of fabric band, I think it's like a stretchy band, It uh, the watch is really light. It's a lot lighter than the uh, stainless steel version that, uh, that I had uh, from the Series 2. So it is very, very light. Um, and let's go ahead and see what else we have in the box. So we have a little... Looks like some documentation, and it comes with uh, another one of the Apple little bricks for charging. It's like the standard one, and it also comes with a uh, charger, which looks exactly the same as the Series 2 or the Series 1. I don't see any difference in it. Okay, so as you can see, the watch band is a little bit different, and that's because I have now fast forwarded 36 hours later and I'm just going to touch briefly about the bands before we get into the watch and um, the watch came with this uh, fabric band and I knew I was going to change the band because I wanted a gold watch with one of these uh, silicone bands and you cannot order it that way you would have to buy the, the the band after the fact and that's what I did here but I will give you a quick review on the fabric band it is a one piece uh, of, of some kind of fabric material and um, I just don't like it. Um, I don't like the feel of it on my arm. Yes, it is very lightweight, but I just don't like it and I think it looks kind of cheap. You know, on a, especially on a watch that cost over $400, I think it just looks cheap. Okay, so let's take a look at the functions of the watch. Okay, so I'm, I'm not going to really talk too much about the OS 4 operating system because um, we'll save that for another video, but I will quickly just go into the watch itself. Now, um, and I'm going to talk about all the new things here. So one thing I will talk about that is cool with the OS 4, just real quick, is I love this flashlight mode. So when you press that, um, it basically gives you this little working flashlight. And what's interesting about it is if you point it at your face, it actually dims. Um, so it's not blinding you with this bright screen of light. But if you shine it away from yourself, the screen actually gets brighter. And um, it gets significantly brighter on the Series 2 and 3 because they're... Uh, screen brightness is, is a little stronger than the Series 1, but if you have a Series 1 um, or 2, of course you will get this function if you upgrade to the OS 4 operating system. Another thing is if you scroll uh, one direction to the right, um, it gives you, it, it's a strobing effect. What that's for, I have no idea, like an SOS. Or you can go into this covert red mode, which is actually surprisingly useful. It actually works pretty good. So let's talk about cellular calling. And that's mainly what this video is about because really the watch and its functions and everything, it's very an incremental upgrade to really the Series 2. So like I said, let's talk about uh, cellular and making phone calls from your watch. Okay, so let's scroll to that screen. And as you can see here, um, I have up here a kind of a white, you know, antenna, you know, uh, surrounding this little glowing thing here. And then you see the little green box. What this represents is right now the watch is tethered to um, my iPhone. And that's what that means. So that little green box is representing an iPhone. So that's my iPhone 7 Plus. Okay, so if I go ahead and make a phone call, which we'll do right now. Siri, call Apple. Call Apple Inc. on one infinite loop in Cupertino. Calling Apple Inc. So we're going to call Apple now. Thank you for calling Apple. We are closed. Apple's normal business hours are 8 a.m. to 
find me. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I want to use this independently of my phone. That's why I got it. That's why I was sold on the whole presentation of the Apple you know, uh, uh, Series 3 is I want to be able to untether myself from my iPhone. I want to be able to walk around just with my watch like Dick Tracy. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn off my iPhone and see what happens. So let's do that now. Okay, so now I just turned off my um, uh, iPhone. And you can see the display now went to, this is still turned white, and we're going to talk about that in a minute. But now you see these little bars there? Let me go closer. Okay. Now, what that represents is that is not cellular connectivity. What's happening is the watch is now connected to Wi-Fi. And um, when I first saw this, I was a little baffled because I did think it was cellular connectivity, but it's not. So how the watch is working now is basically the watch connects to the last known network. So I'm in my office right now, and basically, um, if the phone was, where, whatever Wi-Fi the phone uh, has been connected to, the watch is going to go ahead and seek those out. The reason why it's going to Wi-Fi is the phone, the watch is now going to make Wi-Fi calls and it's going to do that to save battery. So let's go ahead and um, let's try it. Siri, call Apple. Call Apple Link on one infinite loop in Cupertino. Calling Apple Link. Okay, so let's see if it can make the call and this is over Wi-Fi calling. Okay, so it made that call and that works. Okay, so that's Wi-Fi calling. I just turned the Wi-Fi off and you can see, as soon as I did that, thing, uh, the display has changed on the watch. So now you see how that white uh, kind of antenna has switched to green. Okay, now when it's in this mode and you can see there, I have, um, you can see the little dots there. That's, the watch is now uh, connected uh, via cellular. So now, the watch now has cellular connectivity. So for the whole two other times that I was, you know, showing the watch and making phone calls, the the cellular radio inside the phone, the watch is was not being used. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make a telephone call with the cellular. Siri, call Apple. Call Apple Link on one infinite loop in Cupertino. Calling Apple Link. Okay, let's talk about final thoughts. If you're happy with your Series 1 or Series 2 and you don't really care about cellular connectivity and you're happy, you know, when you receive a call and your phone is in your pocket and you can use it that way and answer your call or receive your messages, I would say stick with your current watch. But if you want to untether yourself from your cell phone and you want to leave your phone in your car, or you want to leave your phone at home, you want to go to the amusement park, you don't want to take your phone with you, um, you know, you don't want the bulk, yet you still want to be able to have the ability to receive messages or a telephone call, you can do that with the Series 3. And I would say if that's important to you, uh, get the Apple Watch Series 3. Otherwise, I would say stick with your current Apple Watch. For example, this is one of the original Apple Watch Series 1s that has the new operating system on it, and it's made this watch like brand new again. Um, guys, that's my quick review on the uh, Apple Watch Series 3 with cellular. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I have a lot of cool stuff coming up. Thank you very much, and have a wonderful day.